Looking for the Bulldogs for defense. Now Stanley, this is a big one here. But keep in mind, Iowa State has hit 13 threes in this game. Look at the discrepancy at the line in this game. That was one of our keys. 13-point differential from the free throw line. Missed the second one, so it's a two-point contest. Ooh, look like you travel. Wow. Well, I like this. Don't call a timeout just to call a timeout. Peterson for three for the lead. A little bit short. He gets the rebound, throws it up again. Missed again. Rebounded away by Templeton, who came down with all the big plays for Drake and comes down with another one. Greg McDermott was calling a timeout when Peterson got that rebound. The ball hit his hands. Greg McDermott is right behind David Hall, and he is screaming timeout. See if you can see it at the top left corner. The shot goes up. It's a long rebound. They get the rebound, and before he shoots, look, you see him running towards David Hall, mm -hmm. and he's trying to call a timeout. Well, David Hall says, hey, look, the shot was already out of his hand. You can't call a timeout while the ball's in the air. Mm. So now Templeton can seal the game at the line. He gets two free throws with 1.2 seconds remaining. But he or not. gives the Cyclones a little bit of a glimmer of hope here. Even if he hits this next one. In fact, if you're Iowa State, you almost want him to hit it to yeah. set things up. Well, that may be what Mark Phelps is talking about. Watch at the top of your screen on that last possession, and you see Greg McDermott trying to call a timeout. Up at the top of the screen, watch him run to his left. He runs to his left yelling timeout. Right now, he's yelling timeout, timeout, timeout. Oh, boy, I tell you what, it was awful loud in there. It's tough to hear that. What he needs is he needs a challenge flag. We just chunk it out onto yes. the court. Throw a red hanky out there onto the court. He was screaming for it. David Hall didn't hear it. And the shot was released by Peterson and missed and then rebounded by Templeton, who was immediately fouled. Now Templeton missed the front end of that shot. He'll get one more to give Drake perhaps a three-point lead with 1.2 seconds remaining. Well, you made the point, Dave, and you may be exactly right. Mark Phelps may be contemplating saying, let's intentionally miss this free throw right. so that they have to pick up the ball and then turn and chunk it the length of the court. Yeah. Well, that's a tough call. I, I, I don't, I'd be tempted to say, hey, let, let's go ahead and knock it down. Then a worst case scenario, we got a tie. Right. I don't think I'm going to give them a chance, even a miracle chance, to win the basketball game. So the closing moments from Hilton Coliseum and Ames. Drake trying to come all the way back from a 13-point deficit. With Reed Geddes, I'm Dave Armstrong. Watching Iowa State and Lucas Tiger hitting a career high 24, but it could all be in vain as the Bulldogs have come roaring back here today on the strength of 17 made free throws. They've also out rebounded the Cyclones 40 to 32. Now that's been the difference here in the second half of Mark Phelps is his team's rebounding, their ability, they've missed layups and still come up with the ball. They lead in the second chance points department, 16 to 2. There's your basketball game. There's the make. It's a three-point game, only 1.2 seconds remaining. And Iowa State will talk things over. They just Really, this will be a desperation attempt. Now, what I would do is I would throw the ball to the top of the key and catch the ball. You've got a time to make one fake, turn, and shoot almost a Christian Leitner type play against Kentucky. Here's how Drake got back into this basketball game. They did it by attacking the basket and rebound, rebound. And there's those second chance points that you just talked about. Oh, they had second half, they just attacked in that room. Well, it was such a team effort with four guys in double figures for the Bulldogs here tonight. Stanley hits a couple of big threes. But Templeton, for my money, even though Josh Young had 19 points, Templeton, it seemed like every time Drake really needed something big to happen, it was Templeton who did it for uh, I think you're exactly right. He brought energy, point production, rebounding. He had 13 points and 10 rebounds, a double-double for Adam Templeton. And meanwhile, Bucky Cox, also a double-double, 14 points, 14 rebounds. Look, if you're Iowa State, the ball, you've got time for one fake. Now, 1.4, you can put the ball down once, maybe, but I think you've got to throw it to the top of the key. Remember, Craig Black.